Welcome to Academic Game Tutorials. In this video, we will look into the differences between PERT and CPM. Project management can be understood as a systematic way of planning, scheduling, executing, monitoring, controlling the different aspects of the project, so as to attain the goal made at the time of project formulation. PERT and CPM are the two network-based project management techniques, which exhibit the flow and sequence of the activities and events. Program or Project Management and Review Technique, PERT, is appropriate for the projects where the time needed to complete different activities are not known. On the other hand, the Critical Path Method or CPM is appropriate for the projects which are recurring in nature. So, let's look into the basic differences between PERT and CPM in a tabular form. Difference number 1, PERT is a project management technique, whereby planning, scheduling, organizing, coordinating and controlling uncertain activities are done, whereas, CPM is a statistical technique of project management in which planning, scheduling, organizing, coordination and control of well-defined activities take place. Number 2, PERT is a technique of planning and control of time, unlike CPM, which is a method to control costs and time. Number 3, PERT is set according to events, while CPM is aligned towards activities. Number 4. While PERT is evolved as a research and development project, CPM evolved as a construction project. Number 5. A deterministic model is used in CPM, conversely, PERT uses a probabilistic model. Number 6. PERT focuses on time, while CPM focuses on time cost trade-off. Number 7. There are three times estimates in PERT, that is, optimistic time, most likely time and pessimistic time, on the other hand, there is only one time estimate in CPM. Number 8, PERT technique is best suited for a high precision time estimate, whereas, CPM is appropriate for a reasonable time estimate. Number 9, PERT deals with unpredictable activities, but CPM deals with predictable activities. Number 10, PERT is used where the nature of the job is non-repetitive, whereas, CPM involves the job of repetitive nature. Number 11. There is a demarcation between critical and non-critical activities in CPM, which is not in the case of PERT. Number 12. PERT is best for research and development projects, but CPM is for non-research projects like construction projects. And difference number 13. Crashing is a compression technique applied to CPM, to shorten the project duration, along with the least additional cost, but, the crashing concept is not applicable to PERT.